All right, everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to uh, Breath Edge's Breath Edge. Breath Edge. There we go. We're looking at the settings. Now we're on the main menu. It's a space survival game, but apparently with like humor that might be kind of offensive. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. I like the look of it, uh, nonetheless. I, and this is pretty much one of those games where I saw a screenshot and I'm like, yeah, send me a key. I, I don't know too much about the game, but if it looks as good as if it plays as good as it looks, that's a good sign. When I say open world, I mean like just kind of survival -y games. We're on a space station, I think. Fancy opening credits at the beginning of the game. <laughs> From the creators of The Matrix. There's been no news lately. Oh, I should actually read these. 22 awards. Some other games received. <laughs> Searching for this font took up half the development time. Oh, boy. Director isn't needed here at all. The Red Rune Softworks team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. And therefore, we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. Yay, censorship. No, let him smoke. Yay, censorship. <laughs> Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Put on a defined expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Spitting was a lousy idea, we agree. You better tell him your story first. You can still have your defiant expression. Spit! You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You okay, you so it's funeral, probably just a loop. It'd be hilarious if we could actually universe. go through that Confirm. over and over and over again, and he would just kill us. But, whatever. Year 2073, somewhere on the outskirts of the universe. Interstellar liner unnamed. Your yogurt or some other garbage ads could be here. <sighs> Green Universe Broccoli Attack. Green Universe Activist Pro. Nope. Oh, nope. Problem is new terrorist attacks if buying any Grandpa You lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. Continue your defiantly unembellished story. <laughs> Wait, so we just get knocked out. We didn't see Grandpa. We didn't see anything. We just get... We just get knocked out in the beginning of the explosion. I assume. Either that or the game glitched out. I hope it didn't glitch out. Because I'm actually enjoying this so far. Okay, we're good.
Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Splendid. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. <laughs> to stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. <laughs> when picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. I thought I grabbed the... I thought I grabbed the gun. No, that's the chicken. Where'd the gum go? I thought I had the to gum. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. I, I grabbed the gum. Where'd the gum go? Okay, one second. Gotta check the controls. Okay. Oh, tab for inventory. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. Try not to get your feet stick it somewhere except for your face. There you we go. some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. <laughs> when you discover a new blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory of a processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources, probably. Examine, my friends. A picture with the autographs of Grandpa's best friends. It's from the times when their crazy gang uh, went on, as they called it a space odyssey which lasted almost a year and put them on the blacklist of most bars on inhabited planets. They were really cool guys. All already gone. Turn it around? Oh. Nothing else. Uh, let's leave it. The chicken's portrait. All photo albums at home are filled with pictures of the chicken. A portrait with a dark background. A portrait with a light background. A master shot in the rain. A photo of it sitting heroically on a chair. This family heirloom now belongs to me, and I can't even get rid of it by giving it to anybody. Running man. It wasn't worth blowing bubbles into the face of this immortal bird. The school wanted to sign me on as a sprinter after that race. That day, I flew. A good photo. It was taken two years before Grandpa's death. This jacket has outlived him, and will probably outlive me as well. <laughs> oh boy. Grandpa's garage was full of such blueprints. With them, even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself, if it had the will and a Phillips head screwdriver. <laughs> Truth number 23. Why is disturbing factory uneven? Let's not actually read these, probably. Eh, maybe I should. The secret of longevity. Last week, scientists from the Life Institute made a statement that could help uh, in the fight against old age. After extensive research on mice and macaw macaws... Scientists found that the animals that didn't undergo any experiments lived on average from five to six years longer. This is a surprising discovery. Oh, this surprising discovery led to the conclusion that idleness and sitting on the couch can activate some hidden body reserves that will allow you to live much longer. Famous car exhibition turns out to be a disguise of cannibal chipmunks. Uh, coffins on sale. Okay, a page from the famous and only galactic newspaper, Piece of Truth. It has been published for a long period of time and is distinguished by honesty, openness, good absorbency, and softness of paper, which makes it an indispensable piece of trashy, trashy literature after a hearty dinner. Okay, so the Green Universe Broccoli Attack. Activists promise new terrorist attacks if buying any kind of meat in space is not prohibited. Space hearse blasts off. Those damn bananas keep kidnapping my goats. Vampire Cat terrorizes inhabitants of Mars. Yeah, we're gonna headline, take this. But the probability of the liner crashing due to a terrorist attack is 65%. Chiku Belch. Uh-oh. Expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, and non-alcoholic. Something chosen by Grandpa solely because of its label. Although he always denied it and winked his, wrinkled his face when cook, uh, choking on this crap. Ew. Fine. Grandpa's picture. One of the last photos of Grandpa, who didn't part with the chicken until his death. He really liked himself here, and I couldn't help 
putting this photo in a frame. I don't know if hoarding all these items is a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Alcohol burns well, kills bacteria, warms the body, or warms bacteria and kills the body. I don't remember exactly. Oh, the humor in this game is good. Survival guide. A humorous survival guide recorded by one of Grandpa's friends. They even cut some shots out from some movie and put it there. I don't think that such advice can be useful, but to be honest, this situation is somehow strangely similar to mine. There's even a chicken there. Use the interphone? Oh no! To adjust the antenna, you'll have to go into outer space. Home phone number. What? Our home number. I can't reach it, of course. Well, and there's no one to call, unless I say hello to the cockroaches. Oh god, there's so much stuff. Don't forget to feed the chicken. Summer 2008. Looks like India. Somehow I never asked where this photo is from. The chicken was passed on in our family from generation to generation. But she loved Grandpa even more than worms, I think. Grandpa always returned the affection. Little man. I always have been good looking. Although my beard was not as thick in my childhood, by age of three it got better. Kitten. Harry the cat was my first and last pet. He was a proud and good one. Even the chicken respected him, I guess. At least she attacked me more than him. We got a back scratcher. Alright. We have a bed. Fabric. Oh my god, more more photos. Earth. Grandpa couldn't live without space, but he loved home very much. Just as any astronaut. Happy birthday, Grandpa. My notion of starships in childhood didn't differ much from my knowledge of them today. I drew this masterpiece at six or seven, and I'm still proud of it. I don't know when I painted it exactly, but I remember that my grandpa's colleagues were laughing their heads off and calling it Alco Lennon when he hung it over his bed. Oh, why he hung, o hung it over his bed is a mystery. Anything in here? Container. Okay, so we're going to put the uh, piece of truth, grandpa's photo, and the notes. I assume I don't need those. Take the rubber. A rubber, a universal material which is used everywhere. It serves as an excellent, excellent insulation and is easily melted into something. Right, anything else that I can grab while we're here? Well, I could Voice turn off the radio. Voice disposal damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Press F to relieve yourself. I shouldn't do that. I I need a scanner. Okay, good. The textures go away. Can I just... Oh, boy. Well, this is juvenile. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, into space we go. A source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful. The radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. That well, was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. So it looks like there's a lot of stuff just kind of floating around in space that I can grab. Oops. If I can grab it. It might be harder... Might be harder to do than I thought. Also, we're running out of oxygen. That's a problem. Okay, there we go. This is going to be interesting. Comrade, take care of your health. Can I save? Good, I can save. So let, let's save now that we've done horrible things with ourselves. I really dig this so far. This is my kind of survival game. It plays well, frame rate's good, looks great. Looks better it than looks most, like the steering honestly. wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news! Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing! Can you pee in space? Unfortunately, no. But boy, can you pee not in space! Huh. Note to self. 
Don't pee everywhere. Okay, dog beer. The cheapest swill, drunk by all space dogs. Nobody knows from what waste this stuff is brewed. Nevertheless, this beer is distinguished by a pleasant, mild taste of tar and the fragrance of fresh porcupine dung. Examine physics in 50 volumes. A rare edition of physics in several volumes. They say one who reads all 50 books will become the person who read all those books. The interphone is broken. Uh... I think I made a mistake. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I see. We're, we're supposed to go in there and craft. I gotcha. But, okay, the transition between one and the other gets a bit fiddly, but that's okay. Alright, equipment. Enhanced spacesuit, helmet... Oh, uh, tools, grabber, drill, crypto cryptographic debugging station. We need some wire for that, though. Alcohol, resources, objects, container stations, uh, achievements, journal. So we gotta create a debugging station, so I gotta go find some wire somewhere. Well, before that, metal, nutritious goo. So we're gonna have to process some food. We need ice, though. Oh. Insert videotape. To pee or not to pee? Oh boy. Space, so dangerous, so unpredictable, just like your bladder. Darn too. In space, you can find yourself left without the most valuable equipment at times. Okay. This is wrong. Tip number two, try and keep it all in. A thoughtless waste of resources can lead to death. Oh god. Peeing constantly uh, actually really makes you need to drink. Explore the environment in your search of AIDS or analog. Oh, it's going too fast. This is wrong. Tip number four, collect any valuable items in space, but be extremely cautious. Fair enough. Chicken de-electric. Oh my god, the chicken really is immortal. With due luck and diligence, you can repair the most valuable equipment or kill something. Yeah, this goes just a little bit too fast for me. The end. Alright, so for starters, we're actually going to reload. Uh, reload to our save slot, where I didn't just immediately pee on everything. Uh, mainly because... Otherwise, this is going to be a problem. Also, there's a lot of just things floating around out here. Wait, are some of these, like, massive? Yeah, I need the handy scrapper for that. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's a ton of resources just floating around here, so... It's not actually going to be that big of a deal. I dig this a lot more than, um... Than that last game. Grandpa's mug! Grandpa's... Grandpa loved to give young girls a ride on his rocket. So this is why his colleagues gave him this mug and the title of Chief Womanizer, unfairly, because Grandpa only gave them rides, and only on his rocket, but he still kept the mug and always laughed at it. Well, keepsakes. Alright, so let's actually get to fixing this. G this game is very juvenile. It's awful. I love it. It looks like the steering. Great news. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. Okay, so we want to just grab... Remember that you resource. are still able to become depressed. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to go on some errands just to get new resources. But I'm fine with that. 
This game. This, this game. Alright, so we can get a nutri nutrition package. Yeah, we might as well create one. This really is, like, kind of... Doofy Space Subnautica. I kind of dig it. I like it. Okay, items, tools. So we still need wires. And I'm assuming I can't make wires. Objects, container stations, deposit resources. Oh, okay. We can also make a bottle of water. Good! I'm worried if you selected the non-censored option, what we would be seeing. I don't know either, but the censored option is real funny. So, I don't mind. Alright, can I... Can I use this at all? I have no idea. Still need a scanner for these. Book. Yes, exactly. You got it right. It's a book. It has pages inside. Letters and numbers on these pages. It also has crumpled corners and traces of greasy fingers. It smells like a book, looks like a book, and tastes no different from a book. Alright. Let's go in here. Let's, uh, dump off... Oh. No. We might as well dump off a, a bunch of these kind of useless things. I don't know if we'll be coming back. Okay. Interphone is still broken. Calendar, September. A typical calendar with girls. Miss September. Grandpa loved and carefully collected such things. I remember my childhood. Miss December from Grandpa's collection got a fashionably painted mustache. My ass got some uh, wide strips from Grandpa's belt after this incident. Okay, so we pretty much want to just fly around grabbing what little space bits are kind of floating around. Until we find some wire, probably. A lot of ice, so we probably won't get uh, dehydrated too quickly. I guess the other thing I could consider doing is going out of my way. Oh, this is going to make some people nauseous. Judging by the primary guarantee. analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Yeah, we need that better helmet ASAP. Better helmet, better suit. Better pizza, but wires. We need a lot of stuff. Alright, we're good. Let's, um... I'm probably not going to find wires in these. So let's just check this area out. One of these has got to have wires or something. Okay. Solid source of food. I will gladly take that. Still no. It would be nice if we could increase our oxygen reserves uh, quickly. But instead, I guess we're just kind of shackled down. I'm really, I'm really digging this. The spacewalk music is really nice. It is. There, I'm like, I'm actually kind of enjoying. Uh, well, I mean, I'm absolutely enjoying this. Yeah, we have rubber. But no wire. Yeah, let's keep checking this out. There's got to be something. In one of these. Extract plastic, handy scrapper. Wait, hold on. Isn't this? No, that's a back scratcher. Okay, got the wire. So it looks like we have some. Because, yeah, ooh, that time limit. I actually, like, at first I was kind of iffy on the idea of, like, a oxygen time limit in this way. But I think I actually really like it because it, it forces you to be resourceful in the area. So tools. We can make the debugging station. What do we need for a handy scrapper? Actually... We don't know how to make one of those, do we? Because we've got a grabber. And we got a drill. Well, I guess I'll start with this. 
Cryptographic debugging station. The most sophisticated professional equipment for distributing streaming information with... Yeah. I guess we can actually read the rest of it. Okay. Uh, streaming information with cryptographic encryption over internal software networks. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. I have concern. It's surprising that the shuttle is still functioning with such damage. That it is. So I am supposed to be inside for this one. I was trying to trying to figure out how to interact with it, and I guess it was saying it was broken, but maybe I just have to pull it out properly, or maybe I actually have to. Oh, debug. That's not debugging. Okay, call for help. Attention, survivors. The rescue shuttle Hope was sent. Uh, for you from the nearest evacuation point. The rescuer's arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. Thank. So this is early access. I don't think this is, uh, I think we're like just kind of in serve. Okay, so handy scrapper. So we can just uh, make one of these now. Handy scrapper was meant to be the most sophisticated professional equipment for distributing streaming information. Oh, it was supposed, it was meant to be. Let's make a couple of these seeing as we have uh, durability. But yeah, this is early access. Uh, this is early access. I don't know how long it's going to be in early access, but I don't think we have access to story mode yet. Which is... Honestly, it makes plenty of sense. Babe, incredible. Survive one. I see your avatar online. What? It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. I take this? Nope. Tape recorder. Alright. So we've got a battery. And, oh! Once we find an item, we can learn how to make it, too. Which is actually going to be really helpful. For some reason, I feel the voiceover should be in Russian. I think this is a Russian game. I could be wrong about it. But I, I'm fairly certain this is, this is a Ru Russian game. And if it's not, it feels very Russian. Probably because uh, I think the character is supposed to be Russian. And they've got like... Man, I don't even know what kind of music that is in the background, but it is... It is something. Still can't scan. Can break, though. But yeah, having this kind of... Uh, base time limit to work with. Oh, it does look like I'm supposed to do something in there. Uh, this base time limit to work with between grabbing resources. Uh, it limits, it limits like your your ability to progress. You stand, huh? My name is Babe. I'm very beautiful. You save me, I beg. I'm completely alone. Take off your helmet. You may hear me cry. Hurry. Uh, no. This your sounds like it has very sweet accent, causing fatal errors in my grammatical functions. This sounds like a, a mistake. Okay, so we can now make batteries with metal and alkali. We can make a station. Crap imposed by the developers. Two refined metal, wire, and thick electrical tape. So we need some more rubber. Okay, do we make the roll of fabric? Yeah, I'll make a roll of fabric. We should probably actually make a bunch of bottles of water. And then I should really stop grabbing so much, uh... So much ice while I'm out there. Okay. Let's probably make a bunch of nutrition packages as well and just kind of store them. So we also have... We do have alcohol. We have bottled water. This is, I have no idea if the Chiku Belch is actually edible. Also, where is the chicken? Do we just always have it with us? 
Because I don't see it in the inventory at all. Okay, but... Let's just make as many of these as we can and then just store them. I do wish, uh, you could actually, like, craft multiple. I'm kind of surprised that's not an option, considering how many I need to make. Oh, I guess I don't need to make. Okay. Well, at least we won't have to worry about, uh, starving. Or dying of thirst anytime soon. I, I could even go on a peeing spree if I really needed to. Which I don't, but I, I could. Uh, let's see. Okay. I see dangerous place on radar. There's many life-giving oxygen. You cannot fly there. If you suddenly smoke there, you can explode. It's better to suffocate than burn. What? Why do we have just like... This random... I don't even know. I'm actually gonna carry that back scratcher with me. I don't know if it'd be... If it's actually helpful. I'm going to assume... Okay, let's load up. I, I don't understand what's going on, but that's fine. 